I would dare to say uh, that um, from Hinckley we have uh, some good news. When I saw for the first time the figures on uh, financial plan for Hinckley, uh, it made me laugh. It made really my day. Twice or three times uh, the price for electricity compared to uh, normal electricity prices today. This is speaking for itself. <laughs> agree uh, to really fight a crazy decision for subsidies uh, for nuclear power plant Hinkley Point C and uh, to uh, push uh, the European Commission uh, against renaissance for nuclear uh, based on uh, public money. I've got somebody who's produced some really interesting statistics for me about the potential in the southwest of renewable energy jobs. It's vastly more than the jobs that are available through the nuclear industry. Pinkley has taken up the capacity to put energy back into the grid for the whole of the southwest of England for the next three to six years. So any farmer who thinks he might be able to generate electricity, he's not going to be able to have the grid upgrade because Hinkley is there taking all that space. I'm really proud to be here at this anti-nuclear movement because I represent South West England and we're threatened by the new nuclear station at Hinkley. There's lots of people here from the South West today to say we're not going to let that go ahead. It's a threat to the health and the livelihoods of the people I represent. You see behind me uh, this big poster of the European Commission and uh, this uh, idea of the European Energy uh, Union has been revitalized by Donald Tusk because our uh, discovery that we are so dependent on Russian gas. He is right to activate this idea, but it will only fly if, it's fo if it is focused on renewables and efficiency if it is focused on uh, the future and not the past and how to achieve it, uh, we have to get rid of the men and the politics of uh, the past and we have to prepare together uh, better politics for the future. Thank you for joining.